Hi, this is Ishfaq Khan and in today's session I'm going to discuss with you how can you record opening balances in QuickBook Desktop. Uh, opening balances of account receivables as per customer or project wise, how will you enter that? Similarly, opening balances of the accounts payable as per each vendor wise and then inventory, how the opening balances of each item of the inventory will be entered and apart from that, other bank or petty cash advances and the rest of the items we will also deal in this session one more thing that i want to discuss is that when we are uh, talking about the entering the opening balances we see only the balance sheet items because as far as pnl is concerned sales or expenses has already been closed uh, in the retained earnings so that will become the part of the balance sheet so we will once we are talking about the opening balances we are talking about the balance sheet items only so uh, let's see how we will do it in the quickbook so let's start first of all we have account receivable and we want to see uh, opening balance we have to we we have this customer abc and with this customer we have two job pr101 pr102 and this customer has 45000 plus 20000 total is a 65000 Similarly, we have another customer for 55,000. So how we will enter the opening balances? Let's start create. You will create the customers ABC and then add job and Then what you will do now you will just go here in this job and create an invoice. Okay? Just go here and create an invoice. Why we are doing this? Because in this way we will be able to trace down each project wise. So how? Just go here and click here and create another as other item opening balance. Okay. And link it here with the opening balance equity. Alright. Now how much is amount? Just write here amount. This is 45,000, right? 45,000. And uh, what else you do? Yeah, change the date as at 1st of October. And here you will write two zero two. Okay. Similarly, for the other custom uh, other project also, you will just click here. Opening balance. Just click here copy paste and it will okay, then for the rest this uh, customer just selected selected here opening balance here you will write the 55,000 save and close now if you go to the balance sheet company financial PNL you can see over here you have account receivable of 120,000 and opening balance of 120,000 now you want to see how much from which customer go to the customer center sorry go to the reports go to customer and receivables here you can click on customer balance summary you will see opening balances correctly as far as ABC customer is concerned this much AGT totally so th that was the reason behind this trick that I used for opening balance item and then linking it and then doing it item wise so that you can correctly get the data as per your customer or project wise okay or if you double click over here you can also click here from if you select customer so you can also see it opening balances by each project and customer wise as well all right we have done now as far as account receivables are concerned now let's see we have another just like some another prepaid rent you just go here and make general entry of here you can write prepaid prepaid rent you have this is your other current asset okay and here you will write what opening balance equity opening balance equity with 
8000. So you will write all the rest of details over here as well. If you want to enter the class section, you will just go in the preferences and enable your class and then you can use account number and class and all the relevant details. Just click save. Well, now if you see over here in the balance sheet reports, company financial, p &L, sorry, balance sheet, you will also see prepaid rent as well as the opening balance. Okay, now your opening balance equity is 135,000. Similarly, you will keep on entering all your opening balances and at the end, once you have entered all the data, you will adjust your opening balance equity with your partnership, whatever you have in your partnership account or your capital account. Then you will go and see one by one items and compare and reconcile it and then you can make one adjusting entry if you need or if you want to, you need, if you want to segregate partner wise capital at that time, you can do the adjusting entries. But the good tip is that when you are entering the opening balance, just create one item as opening balance equity that was already created. But if has not been created in your QuickBook, just create one item as opening balance equity in the equity with, with the type equity and then with the type equity then what you do then you make all the opening balances and effect will be in opening balance equity. If one is debit, the credit will be in the opening balance equity. If the one side is credit, the debit would be in the opening balance equity. At the end, just bring all your capital data, capital account data or equity data, retained earning all and then you make that adjusting entry so that you can segregate your uh, data easily. Okay. Now we will go for accounts payable. So similarly what you will do for the accounts payable, you will create vendor center and the vendor center just create your vendors. You have vendor one. Or landlord or any other just create and do it it's very easy okay now as far as now this what will you do go and enter bills in the enter bill section you will just from here you will select opening balance equity and just write one name one amount 35,000 okay and here you will write in the memo this is opening balance equity I am not writing the full description and everything as far as when you are entering just make sure that you fill all the relevant data okay and I think I didn't put the correct date yes correct so on make sure that you put the correct date okay similarly you will we have done this now let's do this vendor 2 and enter 3 go enter bill and the enter will just write this figure here and select account payable from here sorry not account payable from here you will select opening balance equity all right and then the next one is in the same way you will do this okay now if you go over here and see in the come balance sheet you can see it here account payable as well and opening balance equities now the figure is being reduced to 60,000 so similarly your opening balance equity figure will be fluctuated with each transaction but once you have completed your opening balances all the opening balances then you will see okay this is my opening balance of equity that has been adjusted all right what was my opening balance of capital okay this much how much was the trying how much was the other things then you will take from your balance sheet or all your data whichever data you have of the capital nature all the partners data and then you adjust and play around in the equity portion but as far as opening balances are concerned don't touch it don't try to mingle or don't try to uh, confuse it with other equity portion option so just use this method this will help you okay now let's see how we will enter the opening balance of inventory so for inventory what you can do is that just go to the list item list in the item list you can click on excel and import items you can click here and then click yes this is the one way the other way if you okay and from here suppose we have inventory parts and then we will use this form or if you are you want to see you you don't have any 
other option just go to vendor if if you are unable to find this option you will find this option but suppose just go to the vendor click on inventory activities and then click on adjust inventory quantity on hand and from here you will just click on here and from here you will select the relevant inventory part whatever first you have to add all parts and then what you will do you will write the uh, all the value that you have quantity and value you have and from here you will select opening balance equity this is one way so i will not recommend this way just you use this way this is very easy click on excel let me show you again list item list click on excel import item click yes this will appear from here you will select inventory parts okay then customize click on customize column you what you need you have item name sub item we don't have you need cost you need sale price no we don't need cost of goods sold prefer vendor we don't need at the moment income account asset account yes it will be an inventory asset account remove this maximum remove total value yes we need manufacturer part remove quantity on hand yes but one important thing isn't here is the on which date so just add it okay add okay now we will go here just copy this item and paste it then you have cost of this per item just copy paste okay if the I, if the type of this data type is not numbers it will not enter over here okay so just right click over here and make it number now it will take just copy and paste and definitely cost of goods sold the relevant item that will be affected sorry the relevant account that will be affected once you will sell the inventory will be cost of goods sold put down then it will be go to the inventory asset okay and then total value will automatically come we will write what else quantity on hand yes just click save here and then go here and date select the date as at first just right click and click on copy down now click save okay close now if you see here how much is the total quantity we have over here 1650 all right and how much is the value of inventory we have over here One seventy-five thousand. and okay let's see go to the reports and reports click inventory and inventory valuation detail if you see over here we have each inventory opening balances and then all the things over here okay so this is how perfectly it been showing here and as far as balance sheet is concerned just click on reports company financial balance sheet detail and over here you can see over here where it is yeah inventory 175000 is being shown over here you can click here and you can see the detail okay so that is how it's working it's very easy all right and our opening balance has again changed opening balance of equity again changed okay now we have two banks account as well it's very simple just go to list chart of account create two accounts click on bank new here bank one and you can enter opening balance here as well or i will show you with the help of an entry it's better save and close no similarly go and click on another bank it will be the same way so i'm not gonna do for that bank two one bank is more than enough anyway if you have two multiple currency then you can enter for that and the same way you have done for it as well okay so similarly you have petty cash advances for two employees in the same way you can do for them as well just go here new create one account as other current asset with the petty cash advances okay and then you can just go and make journal entry go to the company make journal entry and here you will just debit petty cash advances debit 
with how much amount 7500 and then again petty cash advances because you have to and then here you can select opening balance equity okay as I told you the other figure will be in the opening balance equity you will be wondering where we will write the uh, employee name okay just write where oh, this is opening balance you, you, you have to write full detail I'm not writing here you will add the employee name first one is for employee one or Ali or whatever whatever the name is employee one okay this is for employee two okay click save okay now if you want to see go to company financial click on balance sheet and here you will see here petty cash advances 16,000 and you want to know from which employee how much data is being pending just click here okay and then double click over here sorry just click here and then click on employee thing that you have to do is that you will make two entries so that then it will be segregated 7500 and here make it 1500 reports company financial balance sheet detail click on here then click here yes now it will show you employee wise click on employee so then you will see it here okay all right now if you see you have opening balance of equity as 251,000 now you will take all your data regarding capital account or equity account every data every possible data that relates to equity account and you will take it and then you make adjusting entries for that if you want to distribute in the partnership account if you want to enter the opening balance sheet, then you can reconcile with your uh, balance sheet so that is it i hope you like this video please click the subscribe button for me share it with your friends comment it like it and that's it thank you thank you take care